Majority Leader Pepin, thank you very much for letting us interview you. What do you do for a professional career? And can you tell us about your role here at the state capitol? So my background is I actually worked in the legislature for a while. And then I was a public relations manager for a Fortune 500 company. And then I went and got my law degree. So I'm currently a lawyer, not doing a lot of uh, practicing, although I do have a, a side business. Um, and here my role is as majority leader. So I chair the rules committee and calendar bills for the House floor in that committee and lead the caucus, things like that. Can you tell us about your district and the constituents you represent? My district is Rogers, Maple Grove, and Dayton, so just a little bit northwest of Minneapolis. It's a fairly conservative district. They care about same, a lot of the same issues everybody else does, transportation, education, funding, taxes, and uh, how much we're, we're taking out from their, their paychecks, things like that. What are your legislative priorities for the upcoming session? So my, my top priority as, a, as the majority leader is to move forward with some of our agenda. And we believe that people have been overtaxed. We're looking at some tax relief. And we're also looking at putting some money in for transportation. We know that there are road and infrastructure needs throughout the state. And so we'd like to put some, some money into that. And then uh, probably need to do a bonding bill as well this session. So those are some of the main things we'll be working on. What is it like just knowing that you're going into the session with it being a, a shorter session? A little bit more pressure. It, the, the deadlines will be moved up, very quick deadlines. And uh, so people, if they want to have bills, if legislators want to have bills heard, they're going to have to be ready to go as soon as session starts. Ten weeks is a very short time. I think it's one of the s shortest sessions we've had. And uh, it will we'll hit the ground running right away as opposed to a longer session when there's a, a month or two to sort of ramp up and have informational hearings. Not as much time for that this session. What is the most rewarding aspect of your role here at the legislature? I think my most rewarding uh, thing as a legislator is being able to help people. Um, I remember when there was a the, the, the kind of the housing bubble burst and I specifically remember one of my constituents called and they were literally going to get their home foreclosed upon within days and I was able to help work with a lobbyist to make sure that that didn't happen and they still send me a Christmas card every year. They're thankful. They said we wouldn't have our house if it wasn't for you and that's something that all legislators have the ability to do, help solve problems like that and there's nothing more rewarding than knowing you've been able to to help people and uh, I think as majority leader uh, it's just been really uh, uh, rewarding to be able to talk on the House floor and be sort of a spokesperson for my party's beliefs and the issues. My final question is, who do you find inspirational and what do you find inspirational about him or her? Uh, well, as a politician, I think the most inspirational politician for me was Ronald Reagan um, because he was such a great communicator because he got the, the wall torn down and it was because of his leadership and his charisma and his ability to work with people and that was shown in his overwhelming re-election and uh, I just think he was one of the, the best recent presidents and I find a lot of inspiration in, in how he did his job. Representative Pepin, thank you very much. Thank you so much.